Welcome back. A Snohomish artist combines painting with an artistic method that's been used throughout history to create unique art pieces. Crystal Baylor of Most Moss Tangle Arts uses pyrography or wood burning to express her love for the outdoors, and she's showing us how it's done today. We've been talking secrets here, but yes. we're going to tell everybody how yes. this goes. Yeah. How did you get started doing this? Okay, well, uh, about a year and a half ago, I just decided I wanted to make a couple of coasters for my own house. and. Um, bought a cheap little wood burning tool from Home Depot and <laughs> got started. And I just made some cute little trees on a piece of wood, and and then after that, I got people asking me, "Hey, can you make me something?" So I started and making stuff. And, and an then, artist yeah. is born. So how yeah. do we get started? What are the tools that we need? So um, you need a wood burner, of course. I mean, I started with something like this, and this is the one I teach my classes with because it's very basic very inexpensive like fifteen dollars um, but today we're going to use my professional tool mm -hmm. because it gets hot really fast how hot is this 950 degrees okay so don't yeah. mess around with uh, this yes. don't touch the right. tip yeah don't touch the tip um, if you're working in a you want to be working in a uh, kind of a well ventilated space because okay. it does make smoke which is can be lovely smelling, but sometimes people don't like that smell. Okay, and good advice so, in case somebody's going to start yeah. doing that. So where do you get the wood rounds that you so, use? Because these are so pretty. Well, these ones were actually purchased. I get most of my wood from Walnut Hollow um, online. I get some of it from Amazon. Sometimes I'll go to local stores. Um, there is a local um, Sawyer that I go to sometimes mm -hmm. for some rounds. To get them? Yeah. So. All right. Let's look at a couple of things that yeah. you've made so that okay. we can kind of figure out yeah. um, if you get really good what's possible. This is so beautiful. What is the technique? So I basically am just taking my wood burner. I draw with a pencil first on the wood. Give myself something to kind of sure. work with, get the composition right. And then um, I just basically draw with fire. I mean, that's what pyrography is. Trying so, with fire sounds yeah. so cool. And then what kind of paint do you use to make some uh, of those backgrounds? Watercolor paint and gouache and I haven't used acrylics yet, but you know, I've only been doing this a year and a half, so I, I got a lot of experimenting yes, you're to so do. good. Okay, so. let's do this thing. Yeah, We've got okay. um, my little piece of art has uh, penciled out a design. Thank you yeah. very much, because I probably welcome. can't can't freestyle it with 900 <laughs> degrees. Let's <laughs> make sure we do right, this right. right. So what's okay. next? What's our next so step? So you're going to take this pen, and normally what I teach is that you want to do the foreground first. So okay. you're going to take this pen, and I'm just going to do one little mark for you, you so you can kind of... And you just kind of start wherever you're comfortable, and you just draw with the pen. See how it kind of leaves a mark behind. Yeah. And it's not that hard. With this pen, super easy to now, do. Now, am I leaving marks, or am I actually, you're actually um, burning the wood? Burning the wood, yep. and so there's going to be an indentation. Yeah, there when so I'm you're done. actually getting a little dent Ooh, I can with smell the wood, it. and you can smell the burning. Smells like camping. So here, why don't you okay. give it a try? And just trace my lines Is there. Is it this way? However, however, with I those pens, you can do it however okay. you want. And just get a feel. There you go. So touch lightly. Yep. So two big things in pyrography um, with wood burning. Patience. Mm -hmm. oh, a light touch. I'm <laughs> in trouble. <laughs> and forget about perfectionism because it's not going to be perfect. Well, I like the idea yeah. of the, the nature scene and the fact yeah. that it's kind of forgiving, right? You're not yes. trying to do something, you know, super exacting. I love right. this. And that's exactly why I do mountains and trees is because I can make a mistake and say, oh, that's just a broken that's branch. That's just a or, weird little mountain yeah, there. That's a rock that's kind of shaped funny. So, so yeah. this actually doesn't even take very long. No, once you no, get that pen's really together, hot. Right? Yeah, so it'll burn real quick. So this is basswood that you're burning on. Mm -hmm. uh, super, not super soft, but soft enough. Doesn't have a really hard grain, so it's easy to burn on. I love burning on birch as well because it has almost no grain in it. Now, so. I don't know if this is a stupid question, but no. if, you, um, if you're getting your little wood rounds, do, can you just cut them out of wood yourself or are these treated in some way that make them better to work well, with? Well, they're very dry. That's about the only difference. I can cut my own once I have the tools. <laughs> Once you have Which the I'm tools. working on. Yeah. <laughs> so. Now, why do you think there was such a demand for this? I mean, that's pretty cool to make something yourself and then everybody else likes it. What do you think is so appealing um, about your designs? I think that, especially living here in the Pacific Northwest, um, people love nature. I mean, they love the mountains, they love the rivers, they love, you know, the forests. And, um, and when you look at 
something burned into wood. There's just something like kind of earthy about it, and so I feel like maybe Oops. that's the attraction. So it certainly does smell like something fun where you're out in the woods, yeah, right? Yeah. So you have classes. People can come yeah. and learn mm -hmm. how to do this. Yeah. Uh, how do they sign up? Well, I have all of my events on Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have two classes coming, one actually this Friday, one coming August 12th, and then I have a couple more, one in September and one in October. Is there a minimum age since this is potentially, you know? <sighs> yeah, gonna... that's, you know, I would say a mature 10 year old um, could do it, but you know, 10, 12 years old, not a problem. But if you have an eight year old who feels comfortable with fire and might not burn themselves, I would say totally do it. <laughs> and yeah. then what can we expect from the class? What do we, um, how far do we go? So you go through a piece, a complete piece. So what I'm teaching at my next class is this um, piece with Washington on it. Ooh, and that's this cool. piece right here. And I basically will give you a pre-made design and you just transfer that onto the piece of wood and then we will complete the burning before the night is over. That is and so I cool. And I love to encourage everyone to add their own artistic little fun thing to it. Make a little, so, a yeah. little something different. Yeah. I think, I think I actually made the tree. She did. That wasn't you so did a bad. Great job. Thank you so Look much. That. that was super fun. Yeah, I'm you're gonna welcome. smell like wood smoke all day. I kind of you know, like it. So <laughs> Add a little vanilla and people will be following go. me around. That's right. Thank you so much. Crystal's next wood burning class will be on August 16th at the Creamery Company in Marysville. We've put ticket information on our website as well as info for her other upcoming events. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was fun. I'm, was I'm fun. afraid to put it down. Okay, um, I'll take it. Um, put it on. Thank you. For <laughs> safety purposes. For you.